So when my son was younger, we used to play these games. He would ask me questions like, Dad, if you had a million dollars and could buy anything you wanted, what would you buy? I would normally turn the question on him and he'd give me answers like uh, exotic cars and a bunch of fun things that a five or six year old can come up with. And then he'd change the question back around on me and, and ask me that same question. And my answer was basically the same. I would buy as much property as I possibly could. Not exactly what a five or six year old would want to hear, but it's definitely true. And you see that there's a, a wealth building opportunity that some people are just missing the boat on. So this video is all about shedding light on that so you don't make the same mistake. Let's get started. Okay, so we all know who Dave Ramsey is. The guy is great. He does some really great tactics to build financial freedom and get uh, overcome some of these big burdens of debt. But the truth is, is that there's one tactic that he has that is just fundamentally wrong, and it has to do with buying property. So a 15-year term or buying a home cash is not the only way to purchase. In fact, it's, it's backwards when it comes to wealth building. So what I'm going to share is I'm going to shed some light on exactly how this looks so you don't make the same mistake. Let's dive in. There's good debt and there's bad debt. Real estate is good debt. Let's say you have a property at 500000 You decide to pay cash for that property. After a 10-year period at a 5% appreciation rate, your property is now worth 750000 Your 50, 500000 turned into 750000 on a 50% return on your investment. Let's take that same house at 500000 and let's put 20% down instead, 100000 Property after 10 years is still worth seven fifty, but your return on your investment is now 250%. Your $100,000 investment turned into $750,000. Now let's take this a step further. Let's say that you have that other $400,000 still available and you buy two properties. For simplicity purposes, let's keep them at the same sales price with the same down payment of $200,000. After a 10-year period with 5% appreciation, these properties are now worth $600,000. Your investment of $200,000 just returned a 200% return on your investment. Combined equity position of 800000 on that initial 400000 investment. So let's bring it all together. You started with an investment of 500000 You now own $1.9 million in real estate value and $1.1 million in total equity gains. You're also receiving a twenty four to 36000 yearly rent cash flow. That's on top of the mortgage obligation with a 300% return on your investment. There's also tax write-offs and principal reduction because the renters are now paying those mortgages. These are just a few benefits and reasons why cash purchases aren't always the best strategy. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel. We'll be sharing a lot more info as we go. Have a great day.